All right, let's talk about tools and job site organization and efficiency because man, it just costs me so much time. <laughs> All right, so I spend about, I'd say an hour, maybe an hour and a half a week organizing um, and then cleaning up my trailer. And also more than that, uh, job sites. You gotta keep a clean job site. If it's a larger job site, it's pretty imperative, not only because it's it's professional, it makes you know the customer can see uh, that you take pride in th their property, let alone your own, but also it's for safety as well, because if you're, tripping over a bunch of drywall or other debris and stuff. It's, I mean, it's not efficient. You can't get work done nearly as fast and it's super important. Uh, I mean, now keep, keep that in mind. Like I'll, if it's like it was Friday at 11 o'clock at night, guess what? Everything's getting thrown in the trailer and we're just going to go home. Cause that's, that's the way it is. But you know, take the time. I usually have time during the weekends. I'll do like a Saturday or Sunday. I'll have the trailer, bring it back to my house and you know, clean it out. But since I don't have a, um, a truck right now because it's be being fixed at the body shop. Um, didn't have time, so I had to do it real quick in the morning on a uh, job site. No, no big deal, but at the same time, um, you just got to make time for it because having the tool and not, not being able to find it is just like not having the tool at all. And, you know, having the material but not being able to get to it is just like not having the material because it, you, know, you, you got to have it to use it. And if you, you can't use it, then you don't really have it, do you? So, uh, super important. I try to, you know, I don't wanna kind of go into like, oh, you know, everybody needs a tool trailer or anything, but if you just have a truck or, tra you know, you gotta have some sort something to keep stuff organized. You be able to, you know, that hand tool you have, you gotta be able to put your hands on it if you can use it to actually use it for the job it's intended for. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, <laughs> It's bit, it bit me in the butt many times. I mean, raise your hand if you bought another tool because you thought you lost it, but you just misplaced it or it was buried in something that you already had. So I, I can't tell you how many tools I've done that with. So uh, nothing crazy big, but you know, I probably, I mean, a couple small power tools I'm sure I bought because I thought I lost them or something and then I end up finding them. So uh, saves, it saves me hours on the job site. And that obviously turns into production, which turns into money. So it saves you plenty of money on the job site. Um, just keep a clean job site. Keep it clean. If you're, your truck, trailer, van, whatever it is, if you keep it organized, um, it, for one, it will it looks professional. I've had multiple people give me compliments and a couple, you know, people online say, hey, they would hire me just by the way the trailer looks, which is, I mean, I get it. But at the same time, it takes more than that to land a job for sure. So... I think that's all I've got guys for this little quick video. So no more, it's all in here, except for the one miter saw. We're going straight to uh, another one of my job sites to put the miter station back up. That's why it's not put it back up there, but a little better. We can work with this. And yes, we're still charging via solar. So we're getting those batteries charged. I got probably another 15 batteries to charge. So like and subscribe. See you guys in the next video.